Sexually reproducing individuals have two copies of genes for the same trait. Example, let us assume tall plants have caps TT genes and short plants have small TT genes. If the copies are not identical, example, cap T small t, the trait that gets expressed is called the dominant trait and the other trait is called the recessive trait. In detailed explanation, both copies of genes cap TT, then they are tall plants. If both copies are not same as cap T small t, then also they are tall plants, which means a single copy of cap T genes is sufficient to make a plant tall. If both copies of genes are small tt, then they are short plants. So, in this example, caps t traits gets expressed even with a single copy of genes and so called as dominant traits. Small t traits are not expressed with a single copy of genes and so called as recessive traits. Now let us compare with an example of pea plant. Let us take parental generation of two pea plants with different characteristics. One pea plant P with green color and round seeds and tall. Another pea plant Q with yellow color and wrinkled seeds and short. When both P and Q plants are cross pollinated, the F1 generation plants are tall, yellow color and round seeds. Then F1 generation are plants are self pollinated instead of cross pollination. Then the progeny of F2 generation are some with Tall plants, yellow color, round seeds. Short plants, green color, round seeds. Short plants, yellow color, wrinkled seeds. Tall plants, green color, wrinkled seeds. In this generation, some traits are expressed as dominant traits in some plants. In some plants, tall as dominant, in some other short as dominant, and round seeds as dominant in some plants, and wrinkled seeds as dominant in some other plants. Thus, the tall or short trait and the round seed or wrinkle seed trait are independently inherited. Now let us learn how do traits get expressed and how does mechanism of heredity works. As we learnt earlier, cellular DNA is the chief information source for the process of protein synthesis. Particular section of DNA which provides information for the synthesis of one particular protein is called as gene. How do proteins control the characteristics? Let us learn by comparing an example of tallness as characteristic. As we learned earlier, plant secretes chemical substances called as a hormone which enhances the growth of the plant and enzymes are essential for the production of hormones. If enzyme works efficiently, amount of hormone production is also more Eventually, the growth of the plant is also more results in tallness. If enzyme doesn't work efficiently, proportionately production of hormone is also less, leads to less growth of plant results in shortness. Thus, genes control the characteristics or traits.